This is World Report. Good morning. It is Thursday, September 16th from CBC News. I'm Neil Kirksal. Alberta Premier Jason Kenney is making a stunning reversal to his public health restrictions connected to this pandemic. Alberta has been the most reluctant to impose public health restrictions, but the province's health care system could be overwhelmed in just 10 days. So Kenney is now doing what for months he adamantly said he would never do. Aaron Collins has the latest for you from Calgary. It is now clear that we were wrong, and for that, I apologize. Alberta Premier Jason Kenney sorry for leading his province into a devastating fourth wave, not sorry for the same thing. I don't apologize for the decision to relax public health restrictions in the summer. More mixed messaging from a Premier under siege, absent during this building crisis for nearly two weeks, finally acting. We must deal with the reality that we are facing. We cannot wish it away. Kenny announced a suite of new measures, among them a ban on in-home visits for the unvaccinated and an end to indoor dining in bars and restaurants, a rule that can be avoided if businesses limit entry to the vaccinated. Opposition leader Rachel Notley. It was ridiculously complicated, in part, I think, because they just didn't have the courage to say the phrase vaccine passport. Calgary Chamber of Commerce head Deb Yedlin also critical of the passport plan. That's not helpful because what it is is you're still nibbling around the edges and there isn't one rule for everybody. Political scientist Dwayne Bratt says Kenny's political future is now in doubt. It's better than doing nothing, but it's not going to satisfy anybody. Discontent that will mean pushback from many Albertans and from members of Jason Kenney's own government. Aaron Collins, CBC News.